All right, so today I received this, which is the Electron Vortex Plus adapter. Um, ordered it a few days ago, um, logistics by Amazon, and it was on my door this afternoon. So um, I wanted to give it a test. Uh, so let's, uh, let's jump in, kind of unbox it, and compare it to the other one that I have had for a few weeks. So what is the big deal with the Vortex Plus? Lectron is claiming it's the first publicly available certified NAX to CCS1 DC charging adapter. Lectron claims it was independently certified to meet UL2252. That's the new standard for safety and operation for the NAX to CCS1 adapters. If you want more info about certified adapters, check out these videos on the screen. I also put links in the description if you're sticking around. So now, on to the unboxing. I just recently got a Lectron Vortex adapter. This is the empty box that I've used a couple of times now. Um, but this one just came today. So let's take a look and compare it to the other one. Um, the box is a little different. Slight redesign. Right, so older, new one. Basically the same information, 500 amps, 1000 volts. Um, it doesn't talk about anywhere on the front where it is um, UL certified, which is the big selling point for it now. So, side. Back. So, I mean, the big difference here is that is the company that's certified it as um, following the UL uh, code. So that's really the big difference here. I mean, this is a sticker. This is actually printed on the box. Um, and this is a replacement one. And that's actually on the box too. So um, no stickers on the new box. So this one is noted as being UL2252 compliant. This one is the one that's been certified. Doesn't mention anything, like I said, except for that logo there. I guess this one does say with interlock that it's supposed to be different as well. but not a really big redesign on the box, for sure. Uh, there is one thing, let's see, the bottom has the interlock info. This one does not have it, so. And then the top, this one has the picture, some words, obviously, with the interlock, but. Um, so, very minimal redesign of the box. Definitely see the latch. Some glue or something on here. And this is the regular vortex. There's actually no It does say it on here. 
1000 volt 500 amps a little looks like more fine print than what they put on the plus um, so this is definitely different this is the latch that's going to lock in the nax cable and it's it's difficult to press it's this one seems about the same the top CCS latch okay so they feel about the same So, yeah, this, this button is now closer to this button, feel-wise, and it almost feels like you're going to, when you hit both, you got to think about it to not just squeeze them both. This one, there's definitely more, you need more pressure on the button to get it to release, so it's not... It's not as easy to trigger both at the same time as it is on this, the plus. They're both about the same weight. Um, this one has a little bit of a different finish. Um, I'm not a product designer so I don't know what it is but it's got a little bit more texture on it than the plastic the kind of more pure plastic on the elder one let's see if my injured hand so this one even with my brace on it is pretty easy to trigger Again, this one, you can trigger it, but you definitely have to squeeze pretty hard. This one is a minimal amount of pressure. And these top latches feel the same. Yeah, it's, it's hard to tell that these are very different. And maybe that's fine. There's a little difference here triangular shapes versus square and this housing piece there is a little different and obviously the triggers are a little different. Enough with the unboxing, let's jump in the Equinox and give these a test charge down at my local Quick Charge location. Okay, so here at Quick Charge we have the older Vortex adapter and the newer Vortex Plus that we're gonna plug in with the NAX cable here at the Quick Charge in Mount Horeb. Here is the new one. We're gonna plug in first with it. Sounded about the same. I mean, this isn't gonna be like a full, let's try to melt the adapter charge because I'm at 69%. Um, we're pulling 71 with 219 amps. So um, this is more just a, let's see it work. Still at 196 amps. Let's see if this thing, yeah, I mean, I, seems actually cooler than the air, yeah, no heat, no heat felt so far, but uh, somebody else is going to have to really put this thing through the 
the uh, blast oven and uh, make sure it does everything. This is just, yes, it's working, so. Does not really feel that different. I mean, the trigger is different, but feels the same. This is the old one. New one. I mean, the new one certainly is easier to trigger. When you're putting it on here, just because it's easier to squeeze too. And I was worried that when I unplugged it from the car that I was gonna wanna squeeze both at the same time, but that was not a problem. So um, the new one, This one locks on here, right? Locks in, good to go. This one, this is the plus, locks on. I can't put it on without squeezing it, but it definitely pulls off without pulling the trigger. So, not sure if that's the interlock that uh, they mentioned on the packaging, but um, that is definitely different from the other one that I have. Let's go one more time. Latch is on. I can't pull it off until I squeeze this trigger. positive if, it, uh, if it's a good thing or a bad thing that it releases like that. Like I said, somebody else with more experience and technical knowledge is going to have to figure that out, but uh, that was one thing that's a little concerning for me. Um, hopefully somebody can prove to me that I have no reason to be uh, questioning this adapter because, uh, you know, when I'm plugged in, I don't want to really think about it. I just want the car to charge. So I am... Uh, reluctant to just yank on this but i'm not sure if it latches when it starts charging or not i'm not sure i'm not going to be the one to test that all right well we're at 80 percent I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing more in-depth detail uh study on uh, this certified adapter All right, so this one stopped. Now it's latched. I can't pull it out. I can't release, okay, so this is good. I didn't test this before because I didn't want it to find out if it was gonna come out or not. But now I turned the power off, but it's latched in here and it is locked in there. It's not coming out. Even, I can't even push the, the trigger on the bottom to release it. So it is locked in there. So thumbs up, false alarm. So then it releases, but this thing was locked when this was locked. So there you go. See you at the next charge.